is that? Well, I think we try to be very open within uh, Google, so you know, everybody can be aware of what's going on in different groups and whatnot. Uh, I think, though, sometimes, uh, and as Wave has demonstrated, you know, a little bit too eyes early can curtail your creativity a little bit. So when these guys kind of went off and talked about their own little office and really did some wild and crazy things kind of on their own, I think they were able to uh, be a little bit more free. And then later we roped in the rest of the company. So, so I think just that little bit of uh, creative uh, space uh, space is pretty important. Okay. But uh, at some point you started using it uh, yourself uh, and others? Um, you know, only very recently. I mean, it's only been in the past couple months that uh, more broadly with the company people have started to use it. So we've barely had a chance. And it's, uh, you know, although the developers are, you know, uh, that we're making available to today uh, are starting to use it roughly at the same time as I. And here is that it's it's even faster than that. Uh, I mean, character by character is. Uh, I mean, it may seem kind of silly, like why do you want one character at a time? Uh, but in fact, uh, I came from a similar world to Lars when Unix Talk uh, was widely used. It always went character by character, and uh, I've kind of missed that all these years on the web. Uh, and I think it does give you actually a better, tighter communication loop uh, than having to write out a whole line at a time. Uh, so I, I, I think it really sets a new benchmark in uh, interactivity. Can I ask you about the Sydney office? Are you yeah. pleased with their work? And uh, I'm, I'm obviously pleased so far. I mean, it's, it's a very impressive uh, early system. I think uh, uh, we need to see how it continues to develop, how uh, they're going to have now a, the challenges, of course, the stability and scalability that they didn't really have to face until it was out there. Um, but uh, I have good confidence in that team. And, and good confidence also the infrastructure they're building off of, uh, you know, things like Bigtable, internal to Google, or taking advantage of Chrome and Google Web Toolkit. Uh, I, I'm glad to see those things paying off in being able to create a good user experience in the end. So you think you send more engineers down to Sydney? Um, well, they've been. I think they mostly recruit locally. It's not. I guess I phrased it maybe incorrectly. I mean, it's. Uh, uh, they are. They were in fact based in Sydney, though they spent a lot of time out. You know, obviously, my meetings with them have Mountain Dew. Uh, but they do recruit a, a lot of good talent uh, down under. Doesn't this have implications for uh, uh, for working remotely? Doesn't isn't that going to change uh, how Google? Uh, operates in terms of uh, disconnected teams? Well, we were all worried that Wave would come out upside down because they're working on it down there. But, uh, <laughs> I guess it's given us greater confidence. Um, I think, uh, in all seriousness, uh, we believe in really uh, tight-knit uh, you know, community that really is uh, communicating a lot uh, all the time. But this did demonstrate that there was actually some benefit to a little bit of isolation early on. Uh, and uh, you know, when, when Lars and Jen said we are going to rethink communication, they really did rethink it. I mean, a, uh, a lot of other early uh, ideas tend to get focused down to what you already have. In fact, uh, the earliest versions of Gmail we used internally uh, there wasn't a distinction between uh, chats and messages, and then we kind of lost that. Uh, and I think that was because of a little too much um, listening to people's expectations who, uh, a little too early on. What is your main role now at Google? Do you get involved in development? Do you oversee projects? How do you get involved in projects? Uh, I get involved in a scattering of projects. There's, you know, too many for me to be deeply involved in all of them. Uh, but there are a handful, and I, one of the privileges, I guess, I can pick and choose a little bit uh, of the things that I focus on.